right? I'll look at my own column and refresh myself. What do you want to do? What are we doing? I... I'll do anything. How do you memorialize a moment? So I first came here in 1995. I was pondering the idea of moving from Atlanta to Oxford, Mississippi. And two places sold me on Oxford, Square Books and Bottle Tree Bakery. I walked in this place and I could imagine myself returning to this place and I could imagine myself returning to this town. Bottle Tree has been open more than 25 years. And you know what year this place opened? 92? 1995. So it opened the same year I moved here? We opened January 31st, 1995. I'm from Portland, Oregon. I came here in 1987 to go to school. And there just wasn't a actual community house in town that had food like this or a place for people of all ages. I was the only restaurant that didn't have any smoking. I'm still the only restaurant that doesn't have a TV. It's a real community house. When I first moved here, I fell in love with the ginger scones that she serves. They have crystallized ginger pocking the, the um, interior. I grew up baking scones and muffins and it was like actually one of my early chores when I was a kid. The first thing I actually made wasn't a blueberry muffin or a chocolate chip cookie, but it was a scone. And there's other variations of scone, but it's, it's a classic. It's a really good recipe. They have a ginger scone down here. So basically, I grew up with Bottle Tree in this town. As I began to travel more to write, life got in the way, and writing got in the way, and family got in the way. Those things pulled me away from this place, and yet this place pulled me back. I'm sorry, I'm getting used to the noise behind me. Uh, <laughs> okay, let's, let me start again. Saturdays are exceptionally loud. Family day is very loud. That's what I call Saturday. We all have jokes about it, like how loud is the bakery right now when it overpowers the stereo and you've got like September earth, wind and fire going and you can't even barely hear, you know, a bass beat because the volume in here is so nutty. It's just a lot in here. And I can hear everything from my office. I can hear when they're not frothing the milk correctly. I can hear what they're saying. They don't realize in the kitchen they're talking. I can hear everything they have to say in there. So I'm just, I'm a really bad detail. I can almost drive myself crazy with it sometimes. If you regard a place closely, it opens up. Here, when I sit at this counter, look at the way this is worn over time. I mean, this is a thousand elbows over 10,000 days. I mean, look at this counter. You, you can see the kind of ghost of a thousand people. Those patterns, like one seat, two seat, three seat, four. I mean, you see where everybody, this was a more popular place to sit. This is a really popular place to sit because it's the end, because you get more space. You can imagine people 50 years ago at these counters, and you can imagine people 50 minutes ago at these counters. But wait, we were somewhere else. Where were we? I am really obsessed with consistency, and that's something I'm really proud of. Everything is the same. The brioche that you got, you bought in here in 1995 is the same brioche that's up front today. The granola is the same. The coffee is the same. I come here for the coffee I've now been drinking for 25 years. The bakery is a place for all ages. It's for wild children, well-behaved children, professors, retirees. My search for great bars and restaurants was really a search for places to belong, for a new kind of home, for a different kind of home, for a home I could find wherever I might be. If I were, you know, in Portland, Oregon, or if I were in Brooklyn, or if I were in Nashville, or if I were in Austin, and I stumbled across a place like this for the first time and stepped through this door, I'd fall in love and I'd come home from Brooklyn or Austin or Nashville talking about the Bottle Tree Bakery. And here it is. I don't have to come home from another place having discovered the Bottle Tree. The Bottle Tree is in my place.